This is the smoothest flight I have ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. It is so easy to control. Just look at this, guys. It is phenomenal. I can dodge and duck and dive with this thing. Three, two, one. Here we go. I pressed the two key, and there it is, guys. Look at this here. My mind is being blown right now. Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic, and that mechanic is looking very chipper right now, and as he should, because there is a brand new mod that was created by Dus, it was, and it is totally mind-blowing. They have created a wing in Scrap Mechanic that simulates lift, so it makes flying creations such as an airplane like this much, much easier. And if you wouldn't believe it, guys, this little plane right here that you're looking at right now only has two thrusters, and they are only used for the forward thrust. So, in this video, we're gonna be checking out this little simple plane right here. I'm gonna show you guys the airfoils that he's made, and we're gonna try and turn them into a helicopter blade thing as well so we're gonna do some testing here too so let's get right into it all right before we start flying this cute little plane let's take a look at it and see what is going on so as you can see though we do have the wing mod added on here so there's a wing on either side there we got some wings in the back a tail blade here as well so these are all hooked up to double bearings so I do use buttons to control these and the reason why there's double bearings is so that way you can have two-way control so your uh, little tail fins here and stuff they can actually go up and down and then your wings here they have like little ailerons and you can use those for flight control as well so like I mentioned this thing only has two thrusters let me get the connection tool out to prove it to you guys and there it is you can see we have a whole bunch of controllers for the flight mechanics and there they are one and two guys just two simple little thrusters inside of this plane and that's all you need to fly around smoother than you've ever flown before but me talking about this really doesn't give the same effect as flying it so over here guys I've made a little runway in the distance we're gonna head over there and we're gonna take some flight all right, so here we are down on the runway now. I'm gonna bring up the buttons and switches really fast and show you guys what they all do. So one is your forward thrust. Like I said, that's all you need to fly this thing. Two and three are used to roll. So look at that, you can actually see over here, you can see the wings are actually going up and down. So if we press three, it'll go down and two brings it up. And you can see the opposite side here does the opposite direction to create roll. We also have four and five, which is used to control your pitch. And as you can see, it moves these uh, wings in the back right here like that. And they're very subtle movements. It took a lot of trial and error, some testing and some failures to finally get something that works very, very smooth. So I'm just gonna press the one key now and we are gonna start moving forward. I'll get the buttons and switches up. I have strict follow cam on so we can actually see everything that is going on. And there we go, guys. We now have lift and... <laughs> oh, of course. I put a tree right at the end of the runway. Well, I didn't put the tree there. Somebody put that tree there. All right, we're gonna have to try that again. We're gonna press one. We're gonna go down this runway. We're gonna try and avoid that tree. Let's see if we get some lift quick enough. I'm just gonna try and get right out of the way. Okay, there we go. We are now in the air and just look at this guys this is the smoothest flight i have ever seen in scrap mechanic it is so easy to control just look at this guys it is phenomenal i can dodge and duck and dive with this thing and it just never wants to really tip over i mean you could definitely crash this thing if you tried but i mean just look at this these are wings in scrap mechanic and I'm telling you this is the future of the game and I definitely want to give mad props to Das it was because this mod is just blowing my mind right now like look at this and I can even actually press A and D to turn the tail blade right there uh, and that actually just does provide a little bit extra control when you're flying this thing but look at this you can do crazy maneuvers like this without risking falling over or slowly slipping out with your thrusters pushing you in one way or the other. Uh, it's just very tight controls and uh, it's just so much fun. And you know what actually, let's bring this right back down to the runway, let's throw some spud guns on here. I can't, how did I, how did I not put any spud guns on here yet? Oh yeah, look at that, that is a landing. All right, now this is a plane worthy of flight and scrap mechanic. Let's get back into the air here. I hope I don't hit that tree. I almost completely forgot about it. What if I try and just kind of steer away? Okay, uh-oh, no. Am I gonna miss it? Okay, we missed the tree. 
This is the worst takeoff ever, but there we go. We are now back in the air. All right, so let's go up. We're going to get a little bit of lift here, and we're going to try and shoot something. I'm not too sure what we're going to try and shoot. I haven't really put a target anywhere, uh, but how about one of those antennas there? We'll have a little peek around here and see if we can't find another one. All right, I think the one that we passed earlier was actually the only one in this map right here, so why don't we turn our spud guns on? There we go. Spud guns are now firing, and we are gonna try and hit something here. All right, we're shooting the side of a mountain. I keep on forgetting what the controls are, even though there's only four buttons. This is the simplest flight in Scrap Mechanic, and here I am, still forgetting the buttons. All right, can we do this? Did I, am I gonna do it? Oh, I hit it. Yes, okay, so there you go. I definitely just hit that antenna. Um, so clearly though, this mod is just gonna make stuff like this so much easier. Wow, see? So I just ran into that tree. Look at that. I hit that tree and nothing happened. I mean, I bounced off of it, but the stability of this thing was hardly even compromised. Now look at this though. Let's try and get some some very dicey maneuvers going on in here. Oh yeah, look at this. Whew, almost hit that tree. Staying nice and low. Let's cut hard right here. We're gonna try and get right over top of this mountain. Dip down into it. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, I hit the rock side. Uh oh, this is not good. Yeah, we're crashing down into this pit here. You know what? This is actually the perfect segue because now that we're stuck in this pit down here, why don't we try and make some type of helicopter thing? So here's what I'm thinking though, guys. I am not really gonna make a full-fledged helicopter. I really just wanna actually put something down on the lift here so we can maybe do a bit of a proof of concept. So this is gonna be the base that I'm gonna build this really silly looking copter seat on, but here we go, we got ourselves the wings here. Now, I don't know exactly how many I should really be putting down for something like this. Uh, I know uh, the big ones, they generate quite a bit of lift, and now these smaller ones, they do generate less lift than the big ones. So, I mean, that there looks like it's relatively long compared to everything down here. So, I've got this hooked up to a switch, and an, uh, I think this is a gas motor here. So, we got it ready to spin. Now, I don't know how fast these should really spin, so why don't we just actually start off really low here and do a bit of testing. So this is going to be gas engine level one, test number one. Here we go. Let's press the switch. Okay, yeah, wow. All right, level three. It's spinning faster. Definitely not generating any lift whatsoever. You know what? Why don't we just speed this up even more? All right, so by now, I'm sure the blades are going to start spinning really fast, right? Like, this is much faster spinning but I'm still not seeing any lift whatsoever. All right, so about 10 minutes later and a whole bunch of trial and error, I finally realized what the problem was, and it was that I was using the engine there, and it was actually spinning the whole thing underneath it, and the blades couldn't actually spin fast enough. The whole thing just went totally out of whack. So what I ended up doing was added a few thrusters along the top here, and I also added some actual control of the blades themselves. So why don't we just hop into the seat right here and I'll show you guys. That's the blade right there. Now if we press the 2 key, you can actually see that we're changing the orientation of the blade and that is actually what's going to give us lift. So, it's time to actually fly this thing. We're gonna press the 1 key now. There you go. We are now spinning up those blades and as you can see, nothing is happening right now until I change the pitch of those blades. So in 3, Two, one, here we go. I pressed the two key and there it is, guys. Look at this here. My mind is being blown right now. This is a helicopter with blades using the blades as the lift. Now, I did add some forward thrusters here to actually go forward a little bit, but as you can see, that is not a very good idea. Um, there's clearly a lot of missing parts and pieces in this. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. This thing is not flying very good right now. Okay, so this thing is clearly lacking a lot of design. Uh, but if you guys do want to see me try and make a very realistic helicopter using this absolutely amazing mod, then please just let me know down in the comments. I know I could definitely put a lot more effort into it than this. So guys, I strongly suggest you go to the Steam Workshop and you check out this absolutely amazing scrap mechanic mod and show the creator some love because I am having so much fun with this. Look at this. What a smooth flight in Scrap Mechanic. Oh man, mind blown, guys. Mind blown. But I gotta say, guys, if you did enjoy this build, these mods, or the video, then let me know 
by hitting that like button and uh, maybe even saying something down in the comments below. Uh, and of course, guys, if you do want to see more endless scrap mechanic, then by all means, uh, subscribe to the channel. Maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanics. So I guess I'll be leaving you here, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. So bye for now. Actually, hold on. I got to do a loop-de-loop -loop here. Can we do a loop-de-loop? -loop? Come on now, loop. Big loop. Uh-oh, I'm off to the side a bit. Oh, yes, look at that, guys. You could never do something as smooth as this in Scrap Mechanic before. That is just the perfect loop. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!